Hi guys, this is my channel about home brewing and today we're doing episode number six of the hops growing in my garden 2018, so hang on. Okay, we're back guys for the sixth update on the hops growing in my garden 2018. If you haven't seen the uh, previous episode, please go watch them first. I will kindly wait for you so you don't get any spoilers really but if you have watched them all let's go and see how the hops are doing in the last episode i trimmed the hops in the bottom it was yeah long overdue and yeah let's have a look at the effect of that and how the hops are doing okay let's go Okay, so we're going to start with the hops in the cage. We're going to start with the magnum. It's going to be tricky to get all this on tape, but I'm going to try. So the uh, magnum is uh, uh, all the way to the top now. So I can't see any cones on the magnum, but... Uh, yeah, maybe next year, don't think it will come, but uh, yeah, I'm pleased. It seems to uh, like it in this spot, so thumbs up. So let's move over to the Mauritz 85. Oh, it's a jungle out there. In here, in here, in here. Okay, here's the Magnum 85 in the last episode. We lift it up and trim it down below. Uh, this is doing very, very well. Gonna show you, we have a lot of cones on this one. Let's have a peek. So maybe it's not looking like the most professional setup, but it worked. I got it from the ground. And uh, here we can see a lot of cones. And there's actually a shitload of cones on this one and they're starting to get real big okay, so there are different sizes or from very small cones to uh, very big cones and don't think they are ready yet they need a little more time but it's not too long i think but there's a lot of small cones as well, so I uh, want to give it some more time so the small can develop because there's a lot of small cones. Now I said that a lot of times, but I really mean it. It's a lot of small cones. Um, let's pick one of the big ones. All for science. It's a big cone. <laughs> yeah. It smells like green hops, nothing more, but we have some uh, lupulin in here. It's the yellow stuff you want, but uh, I wanted to get a little bit more yellow than that, but it's um, sticky all right. So we are getting cones from these two plants, because this is actually two plants. and. Yeah, it might not be uh, a lot, but uh, yeah, can definitely brew beer with that. So cool. Let's move over to the uh, Costa. Okay, here's the Costa plant, and uh, here we can see that I cut off some wine. No, it's not. It's not an issue on this one. No, it's just some browning of the leaves. So big banana wants to see some browning on the leaves and we're starting to get it. Uh, it's not as warm anymore in Sweden, so uh, we're moving into autumn. Um, so I'm quite uh, worried that maybe it's just so small cones on this one might not get much. But there's more up here. Let me show you, or at least tried to show you this is hard filming maybe I should have just used my mobile phone instead I can give you some mobile shots in the end okay 
promise. Okay, so down here you can see it's trimmed off. Good. And uh, yeah, some browning here, some leaves turning yellow. And uh, let's see if we can get this on. Here you have some small cones forming, but there's a lot of small cones here to be developed, maybe. So, but it, this really needs more time. But it's, the further we move up, the more cones we find. I think, yeah, you can see some, but they are quite small. And this is, yeah, this is two plants as well going up the same vine. Okay, I'm gonna try to give you some movable footage for you in the end so we can get a better view of it. But let's move over to the uh, Svalö S. I know you're waiting for the big monster. Uh, we're coming to that in the end. So stay tuned. So we have the Halletau Mittelfrau, Mittelfru, Halletau Mittelfru to uh, look at. But Svalö. And on this one, I actually did cut off something that I shouldn't have. So we have some uh, vines dying on here. And uh, yeah, there's quite a few cones on this one, but they are very, very small. So don't know if they will mature. Today is the 23rd of August, by the way. Maybe good to know. And uh, yeah, Sweden is way up north, so let's try to film it. It's a huge plant, as you see, a lot of going out and spreading across the vines up here. Uh, the vines, the, the rope. So that was the hops in the cage. Let's move over to the big one, the Halletau Mittelfru. I think I got it this time. Yeah, comment down below. Okay. Make it some good video here today, guys. Okay, right beside me here I have the monster, the Halletau Mittefru. I'm going to try to film it and as usual it's also time to lower it again because it's up in the tree again. But let's film it. We are actually starting to get some cones on this as well. But it's late in the season now so I don't know. I don't know what got wrong with this one because it has been growing and growing and growing and growing and yeah it has just started to cone. Uh, if you have an idea, comment down below. It's not that I have been giving it uh, a lot of extra fertilizer or something like that. So, I don't know, mostly water. Let's try to film it. Yeah, so we start two meters down there. And we have the, yeah, call it raised bed, the first roof here. And uh, yeah, we can see some cones here. Also some of the Deers or mooses have been uh, eating some of the plants here, but uh, most of it has been intact. And uh, if we move over here, you can see it's massive. And uh, you who have followed this channel have had this described to you. Some more have been folding it over itself a couple of times because, uh, yeah. Uh, it has been growing like crazy. Maybe that is the uh, problem here. And uh, yeah, it keeps on growing up into the tree. As you can see it. So it's actually up there in the tree now. So I have to lower it once again. Try to do it. So I will loosen the rope down there and try to lower it a bit and we'll be safe for a couple of days, usual, a week maybe, if we're lucky. 
Hi guys. Okay. So it's not coming by itself. So we have to, uh, yeah, give it a little nick up there. I'll be back up. Okay. So let's try to lower this without. Yeah, comes down. Need to fold it. Oh, don't want to hurt it. <clears throat> Some more. Oh. a little bit there okay let's have a look uh, so I fold it over there once again so I'm gonna have to attach the ropes to each other there but they have like two meters now safe so we can keep on climbing so I mentioned that before this uh, method isn't optimal i really thought it was a good idea the idea itself well, ain't that bad but i didn't expect it to grow like this don't know how long it is but it's a, a lot of rope and more rope i have yeah i have to uh, attach another rope because i run and run out of rope so uh, yeah it has been madness um so next year I will just use a very long stick in the ground, attach a rope to that and it will have to climb on itself because yeah I don't think this is optimal and uh, can it be the method um, that it's holding off uh, coning for so, so late uh, or yeah I don't know please comment down below if you have an idea. This is a big monster and it just started to cone. It, it might be, uh, I don't know, my brother planted it actually uh, before I even started brewing. So it might be uh, at least six years old. And yesterday, no, and the last year I got uh, a lot of cones from, no I didn't actually. Last year I d did get some cones from it. I have a, a video of that so I'll put a link to that and a card and all of that um, but last year I just let it grow here up in the tree and the deer and the moses or some other wild neighbor ate it so I didn't get as much and this year I really thought I would gonna get a lot of cones but I don't know starting to get worried I put a lot of work in this uh, hops but uh, at least we're getting some from the Maurits and maybe the other ones but the Maurits I will get a beer out of that maybe more let's wait and see I promised yesterday that I would take some mobile shot but I just forgot about it so here it is the day after so Here's the Magnum. It's all the way up there. And let's mow over to the uh, Maurits. So it starts down here. Two plants up. Here we can see some cones so there's a lot of cones on this one but they are see focus yeah different sizes small and big so I want to wait a little bit more but there is a lot of cones on this one as you might see and the cones 
going all the way to the top nice and uh, some peppers here this should be bell pepper basilica is going great also some zucchini here oh lost the bell pepper uh, okay more hops this is the costa and they are actually two plants here and uh, as you see up here some as you see there's a lot of cones up in this one as well so uh, yeah and uh, the third one here and uh, yeah here's the wine I shouldn't have cut down maybe but there are cones up there but they are all small I see now that you can't see them very well there's some more peppers here Let's see if we can find some cucumber for dinner here's a big one let's grab it I'm gonna make tzatziki also I, I, I need to pick a squash uh, see if we have a big one somewhere yes Big squash. And this yellow one is almost like a pumpkin. Yeah. Okay, let's go shoot the um, the big one, the Hallettau Mitterfro. Okay, so it starts down there and it has spread a lot. You can see some small cones forming. It's really big. There are cones everywhere forming even though they are small and uh, yeah it's, it's still climbing up there okay so that was some uh, mobile footage hope you enjoyed the close-up of the hops now let's uh, make some dinner so Cheers guys and thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, please consider becoming a subscriber. And if you want more content and want to show your support for the channel, why don't you check out my Patreon page and of course all of my other videos. So, cheers guys and thanks again for watching. Dr. Hans out.